What's up, Raider Nation? This is your boy, Joe Raider. I'm back at it again. Anyways, free agency time is on its way, and I've never been so excited in my life. I've already covered the topic of Derek Carr, so if you haven't watched that, please go back and watch it. I'm not going to really talk about it. I'm going to talk about what the team really does need. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, turn your notifications on, and let's go. So the free agency list is pretty simple here for me. Uh, the biggest problem that Derek Carr had all year was time, which the offensive line was really bad, not only for Derek, but for Josh Jacobs. Those are two centerpieces there. That should be an obvious we need to fix in free agency rather than the draft. I spoke about that last year. Don't pick up a right tackle in the first round. What do we do? Pick up a right tackle in the first round. And we move him to guard. And you realize that he's not really good at guard either. So thank you, John Gruden. Thank you, Mike Mayock. The rest of the picks I was a little bit happy about and which y'all know about. But that right tackle thing it needs to be fixed in the free agency. And here is why. Because you can't stick a right, a right tackle rookie on the best defensive end you can think of. That is like your pass rushing, Vaughn Miller, you know, TJ Watt. We had this problem all year. TJ Watt coming off the edge. That's the guy that's going to block that guy. And you're going to stick, in our case, Alex Leatherwood on him. And you saw what happened. If TJ Watt didn't get hurt, ask yourself this question. Would we have won that game if TJ Watt didn't get hurt? If, if he would have stayed healthy that game, we probably would have lost because he was wrecking that game. And like I tried to explain to people, that, that right tackle position needs to be addressed in free agency. Pick up a right tackle later in the draft and then groom him along the way. They're not easy to find. Left tackles are more common. Right tackles, not so common. That's why you don't pick them up in the first round. That's why you don't get them in the draft unless you're grooming them. You don't stick them in right away. That's a hard position to fill. It's probably one of the hardest on the offensive line besides center. I mean, they're all hard. Don't get me wrong, but... You're going against the premier pass rushers on that side. Your Max Crosby's, your best. The best of the best is on that side lining up. You don't want to be lunch meat like Alex Leatherwood was. But there are other addressing needs. As I hear, and I won't stop hearing, is that Derek Carr needs a number one wide receiver. I kind of disagree. He has Hunter Renfro. And every statistical frame you can think of Hunter Renfro is a number one wide receiver, and it's not just out of slot. You guys keep on saying, he came out of the slot. No, he wasn't. He moved around. Why? Because of Henry Ruggs. He had to move around a lot more, not only because of Henry Ruggs, but he had to move around a lot more because Waller got hurt. So now we're going to have a healthy Waller, hopefully, and have Hunter Renfro. But I do agree, in this system... If you look back on the Patriots teams, they have numerous wide receivers. If you're doubling up on that guy, we have another guy for you, and we have another guy for you. So we do need a couple of wide receivers. Me personally, Devontae Adams is at a very high price tag. And if you want to pay Derek Carr, you want to get an offensive line, and you want to get some guys um, on the defense, it's going to be kind of difficult getting Devontae Adams, especially when you don't know with x y and z he said i play with Derek carr again but it seems like he's more of aaron Rodgers fanboy me that's just my personal opinion and if you went to two nfc championship games with them you probably think the same anyways there's a couple of guys i think they're going to be interested in and as far as josh mcdaniels and ziggler and one of them being Cooks, which is a fan favorite for sure you have guys like alan robinson i think targets like Allen Robinson are not going to be really looked upon on this offense. You have Cooks, Crowder, and Godwin. Those are three names that come to mind when I think that Ziggler and McDaniels will kind of be high on. Allen Robinson, not too sure he, they're going to be too high on. I don't see him fitting in this type of system. He likes the faster playmaking, you know, Let's dump it off to the guy in the open field and let him make moves. That's that offense. And you got to pay attention to that, not just the offense last year, 
pay attention to the offense over the years, even the Randy Moss years. He might get a bigger wide receiver, but he's got to be able to stretch the field. And there's a lot of things to take in consideration. How much of that offense was dictated by Bill Belichick? Did McDaniels want to do something else with it? We'll find out. I mean, that's the biggest question. But I think Cooks is going to be a big name to actually make it on the team. I love to see Godwin be on the team. I, I love him as a player overall, but can't have everybody you want. I mean, I'm sure everyone won, like Godwin, Devontae Adams, everybody else, but it would be a couple of guys that I would look at as the Raiders actually looking at your Robinson. I don't think Devontae Adams will actually be actual targets until it gets a little bit realistic here. I like to have Devontae Adams, but it's a huge, huge hit to the team salary cap. So I don't know. You'll never know. I'm going with the more realistic play here. As far as the defensive goes, I could go on for days about. We need another safety, but I still feel like Tyree Gillespie can be that guy to take over for Abram. We all know how he is in coverage. I feel like he should play more linebacker position. I think he should come up a little bit more. With this defense, I don't see how he fits in at all. You're going to be playing with two cover safeties in this defense and we all know abram is not that guy unless our new defensive coordinator is one hell of a teacher his struggles to read and react as far as when the ball is in the air if he could just use the mentality he uses to tackle to go after the ball he'd be an all pro when the ball is in the air he looks absolutely lost and we all seen it i just wish he had better ball skills when the ball was in the air that's all i really wish linebacker there are some concerns um, a lot of guys that don't fit the system nick kalkowski i said last year should have been gone and he rode the bench all year long it wasn't gus's guy he's not going to fit well in this defense another guy probably Corey littleton they're possibly going to trade because of his contract it's not just his contract it's the fact that he doesn't fit in the system they play three four Corey littleton can play the edge I don't see how he fits in at all so they're probably trading him because of his contract another guy is carl nazib talk about how of a legend this guy is as far as how he played last year he had a couple good moments but he's aging the guy behind him is getting a lot better and we wish we see more of that guy he should have played a lot more games and i don't understand why he didn't but then again, Gus Bradley does what Gus Bradley does, and that whole team did what they did last year, and I don't really want to discuss that. Quarterback is probably my biggest free agency number one. Besides Nate Hobbs, I wish it just completely rebuilt. Now that we're losing Casey Hayward to free agency, possibly, I don't like Trayvon Mullen. I, he could get better. But then again, you're running a big risk with his contract expiring. I think it's next year. I, I think I'm right on that one. But as far as a corner, I think he's very overrated. I don't care if he's Lamar Jackson's cousin. I don't care about anything like that. He's had two fluke interceptions, maybe three total out of the three years he's been here. He's been injured a lot. He's questionable a lot. He doesn't turn his head. I don't like anything about him as far as the way he plays the cornerback position. Maybe that's the teacher's fault. I don't know. He needs major improvement in this, you know, training camp for me to be convinced he's the number one cornerback. Right now, he's a depth chart guy. Some guys from the Patriots could make their way over here. JC Jackson, he could make his way over here. That pushes him completely on the other side. We all know that. The draft is has full of talent. The guys that actually play the ball, playmakers on the cornerback. I can't wait to see this again. as cornerbacks actually making plays on the ball. So that's what we need to get overall in free agency. It's a lot to go through. The defensive line is also a question, but we did pretty good last year. I don't know if they're going to keep some of the other guys, but it's not a pressing concern. Cornerback, safety on the defense. A little bit of linebacker. I feel like that can be addressed in free agency a little bit. And the offense, the offensive line would be my number one key to focus on and then wide receiver. 
and I believe uh, Ziggler is going to do things the right way with the Raiders. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, um, turn your notifications on, wake your neighbors up, share this with everybody that you can possibly think of that's a Raider Nation fan. If you enjoy the contact, let me know below, comment below who I forgot. I probably did forget like a million people right now. Free agency is about 15 or 14 days away. I still got time. Um, I'm trying to basically get my head around the draft because I've been studying the draft. I've been studying the new coaches. So my head's all over the place as far as a system fits rather than who I want fits. So I've been thinking about that a lot. So I have my draft video out too but I'm nowhere close to that. I'm still doing my studying, still doing the tapes and not just your YouTube tapes. I'm doing actual tapes, actual diving in character wise and everything. So that's what I did last year. If you go back to that video, you can see I did my fair due diligence. I can pat myself on the back on that one. And I, if you look at the date, I actually did it two months before that. I had another channel that had someone else's name apparently. So I had to change my name again how I came here. So good luck to that old channel and that guy that, you know, cried about it. Did my due diligence with the draft last year. I plan to do it again. And it's really hard to tell until free agency is over with what route anyone's going to go. New coach, new GM, new everything pretty much um, besides the players. Do everything. New coaches, new staff, everything. Talk to you next time Raider Nation. I'm out.